Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about how to install full Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. This guide is based off of an article on Tom's Hardware. It is a bit dated so it's not completely up to date, but this is my loose guideline that I use to install Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. This is not IoT Core. This is full desktop Windows 10 Pro running on a Raspberry Pi 3. This guide is helpful because I do have all the links to the software that you'll need to do this. I'll put links to everything in the description too. So the first thing that we want to use is the SD card formatter. I've got that right here. We need Windows image. We've got that right over here. Now when you go into the site we're going to find ARM64 right here. There's a Windows 10 build for 64-bit ARM and we will follow that link and we want to make sure it's in English or whatever language you prefer. Next. And we're going to use Windows 10 Pro. Next. And we're going to use this one right here. Download using ARIA2 and convert. When that downloads we'll get a file that looks like this. You'll extract it, you'll have a couple files in here. It's only a couple megabytes. This isn't the actual ISO image that you'll be using to put Windows onto your SD card. We're going to run this file right here and Windows doesn't like it but we'll click more info, run anyway. Yes. Now what this is going to do is it's going to download each file individually for Windows and it will also convert it into an ISO file so that we can install it to the SD card. I've already done this. I'm not going to go through this whole process again. It took probably a total of about eight hours for me. Very long process. So not going to make you watch all of that. But when it's done, you'll get a file over here. There's our ISO. We're going to go ahead and mount that. And this is the actual Windows 10 DVD installation disk. The next, the next uh, application that we're going to use, this is where things got different with the installation process. You used to have to download a core file, you have to download some drivers, modify all that. That's about when I decided to just do my own thing with it. The next thing we need to do is Windows on ARM installer. I've got that right over here. The zip file has a lot of different stuff in here. We're not interested in that. We're going down here to the application file. Yes, we're going to run it. Wait for it to load up here. There we go. Don't have my SD card in there. Not installing it on any of that. But what we need to do is find the Windows image installation file. Here it is. Sources. Install.wim. Select that. You hit deploy. It installs everything to the SD card. It goes pretty quick. I think it took me about 20 minutes or so. But that's it. The process got a whole lot easier from when this first became possible. Now I'm going to show you some screenshots on the website here. When it first boots up, you'll get this screen here. We're going to hit Escape and go into the BIOS. You'll need to make some changes in here. There's some stuff here about changing your CPU speed and making sure it's running at its best ability. But the biggest thing here is that you need to change your boot order or it won't boot up into Windows 10. It'll just boot up into the BIOS by default. So we want to make sure we change that and then you restart and you'll see here in these screenshots that it should work. So I've already done all this. You go through the um, setup process. It ran extremely slow for me. I'm going to plug my Pi in right now. It's a Raspberry Pi 3B, not the B+. It runs ridiculously slow, but I'll see if I can get it to boot up just so you can see that it's real and it does work. So. Let's go check it out. All right, so I've got the Raspberry Pi hooked up to the TV here. 
I do have a USB dongle with keyboard and mouse. We're just going to wait for this to boot up and we'll see if anything happens. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. This is my second time booting it up. First time took about an hour going through the setup menu, but hopefully this time will go a lot quicker. All right, that only took about five minutes and we're starting to get somewhere with this. You can see the, maybe you can see the mouse on the screen there. There we go. Can't see the mouse anymore, but it is starting to boot up. It's going very slow, but it is going a lot faster than the last time I had it running. So that's impressive. We'll see if, see if it boots to the desktop here. And there's the desktop. That was probably about another five minutes. And it's fully up and running. You can see the cursor on the screen there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But I'm just going to click on the start menu right over here. Click. And I'm waiting. Still waiting. I presume that the start menu will eventually pull up here. thinking. Oh, it was there for a second. There it is. So that took about 45 seconds for the start menu to pull up. You can see that it's responding very slowly. Let me try to scroll through it here. Why don't we try to open, let's see. So bottom line is I can't get anything to work right now. Previously I did attempt to open Solitaire, but it crashed. So Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi, basically youth useless. This is the Raspberry Pi 3B, not the B plus. So it might work better on the 3B plus. Um, I do have a Raspberry Pi 4 coming in later this week. I might attempt to put it on there just out of curiosity, but I think there might be some driver issues. I do want to continue exploring alternate operating systems for the Raspberry Pi. I did see a discussion on Facebook today regarding um, Ubuntu Mate. I didn't think that would work on Pi. I didn't think they had a build for it, but I'm really curious, so I'm gonna check that out. I'll make a video on that. So until next time, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and be sure to check out thinkingofpi.com for lots of Raspberry Pi information. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.